So as you've gone through the web, I'm sure you've run into form elements. Uh, form elements are specific types of HTML elements that allow you to add some data into it. Uh, that data is then passed to a server or something else, and it gets used um, for pretty much anything. Um, so right here, we have a list of a bunch of different types of elements. Uh, the ones on the top are the ones that at least I've most typically have used. Uh, we have your typical input box, you know, so you can type in there. You have a password. Um, and this one, if you notice, if I type in a password, it comes out with these little bullets. We have a text area where you can write some multi-line text. Uh, we have checkboxes. Checkboxes allow you to select multiple things in a list. So let's just say I want to click red and I want to click blue. Right. Uh, in a radio button, which are these circle ones, this is different. You can only select one. So I could only select oatmeal or chicken. See, so you can only select one. Number steppers allow you to add in any num any number. I can't if I'm typing if I'm typing letters right now. It doesn't work. It only allows numbers. Right. Uh, we also have different types of multi select or, or I'm sorry uh, selections. So here, you're able. This is called the select box. You're able to uh, select one of those items. And this one, this one on the bottom, is a multi-select. Where now I can collect um, multiple uh, items by holding down the command key. And then lastly, we have this submit button, where you click on this, and this would then signal to the browser to send out all this data to uh, an endpoint, which we'll talk about uh, a little bit later when we talk about the form tag. Um, underneath, we have, there's, there's a bunch of other um, elements. Now, a lot of these are, are newer, uh, so some browsers or some older browsers might not support some of these, but it's still good to know uh, what, what's available. Uh, so we have image tags, which allows you to create, to create image um, buttons. We have email, so this is interesting, right? So, so this allows for validation to happen right from inside of the browser. And what I mean by that is, basically it looks just like a regular text box that we showed before. If I type something and then I hit, were, were to hit submit, so if I hit this submit button here, this submit button is gonna say, try to submit this entire form. When I click on it, you'll notice that, well one here we got a, this, this value must be equal to or less than, so I'll show you what that means in a second. Uh, so I'll make it less than 20, I'll submit it again. And now this is giving me another issue here. Uh, so this has to have an at sign, right? So this is basically, it's giving you some sort of validation within the number step around this email. We have ranges, we have dates, months, weeks. I mean, there's, there's a ton of different sorts of things and definitely, you know, feel free to check them out when you have some time. Um, also, a lot of these have some specific attributes that are uh, either a few of them span all the elements, others are pretty specific. So, for example, uh, disabled, disable something that spans pretty much all of them, right? And it does, so I have a disabled text box I can't click on there. Um, so, this, this checkbox either, I can't click into the checkbox. Uh, required, this means that I have to fill this out. If I don't, then the, the, the uh, submission is going to fail. Uh, we have checked. So this is automatically checked right now, right? Because the, so I didn't check it. It just, it just knows to be checked. So this might be something like if you want to have something auto check or if you pulled something from the database and the, there's already some, some values stored from whatever, a, a user, uh, user profile or something, it would, auto it would automatically be checked and then the, student, the person would be able to uncheck them if they want. Uh, read only, here I can't, I can't change it, um, I can't delete it, I can't do anything, it's read only. And that's, that's uh, for the most part, that, that's forms. So let's look at the code a little bit. Okay, so forms, most of these, it's really just one tag for most of them. Uh, it's an input tag, right? And the input tag is gonna have an attribute of type, right? So this is a type text. So this is just a, 
typical text field that you'd see for like a username and password. So this is a username, right? Um, that, that we're gonna uh, submit here. It has an ID, just like uh, all the other HTML elements. Um, and it has a name. And what the name is for is when I actually submit, so this, let's just say this is, this has my username and my password. What it submits, it's gonna be tied to a, a variable, right? To a val and that variable is going to be username, right? And then when I'm, when I'm on the server or if I'm just in the HTML and JavaScript, I wanna see what, what is inside of this text. I would ask for this input, input uh, ID of name, give me, um, the uh, value, all right? Okay, so the other thing that we have here is um, we have, like for example, we have placeholders. So I have a place, so inside of my, this text field, it automatically, when it's empty, it says password. Uh, we have, so, so here, an interesting one here is, so name, like I said, it stores values, right? Now, checkboxes and radio buttons, if you notice, there's multiple input boxes, right? However, there's only one value, right? So for example, uh, within checkboxes, if I check two out of these three, when I, when I want to see the value, it's going to essentially give me everything that was checked. So I'll get an array of checkboxes, right? Um, but it's one variable. The variable is favorite color, right? Uh, same thing with radio buttons. There's name, fave food, name, fave food, name, fave food. So whenever I select it, it's going to give me a single result. But if you like, they have to be the same, right? Or else it won't know um, that we're trying to um, tr trying to figure out what that what that specific value is. Uh, here we have things like this is the number stepper. I added, and if you remember, I got that, that error because I put 22. And the reason I got 22 is because um, min was set to 10 and max was set to 20. So that's the rule. And now I, uh, because I put 22, it, it uh, shot out uh, an error. Um, for these select boxes, right? So the way select is actually a little bit different. It doesn't use input, right? This one was input type number. The other ones were uh, input type radio and input type checkbox. Select boxes use select, right? Select and then they add name, uh, state. So it's the same sort of principle as the as the uh, radio buttons and the checkboxes. However, we have these options, individual options. So I have New Jersey, New York, and Texas. And each of these options have a value. About, so I have NJ, NY, uh, TX uh, as abbreviations. And there's values for all, for all of these elements as well, right? Um, and that, then when I, when I check to see what state is, what the value that I'm gonna get is going to be NJ, not New Jersey, right? Then the other thing that we have is select multiple, right? And what multiple is, let's just take a look real quick at what that looks like. Multiple is this here, right? So being able to to uh, select multiple uh, multiple elements, uh, multiple items in that list, right? Works the same way. Options, New Jersey. Uh, actually, that that's wrong. So so these values would be, you know, just say like, you know, whatever you want to call call these, right? Uh, that would be that you'd want to actually send over to somebody. Um, what else do we have here? So email, we have input type email. There's also telephone URL, and uh, maybe one or two others. Uh, range is a little slider. Um, what else? Oh, okay, so here we have uh, the other attributes are things like disabled, so input disabled text. All you gotta do is just type in disabled and then it would it will make it so it's uh, so you can't type into it. Uh, required, well, it will make it so you can't type into it and it'll also give it like this lighter gray color so it visually looks like it's disabled. Uh, required is just simply a required text uh, attribute. 
um, checked is checked for both um, inputs uh, for, for uh, checkboxes and read only is for read only. So that's how the um, various form elements work. And yeah, I mean, definitely something really important to know uh, and to understand. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty repetitive. Uh, just understand what the types are will get you a, a really long way.